Hello, everybody. Whoa, hey, that's whoops. So, ever that my uh, my desk is all kinds of wonky right now, and I'll explain why in a second. There's a couple of things going wonky right now, and I'll explain everything in a second. So, first of all, hi, welcome back. Uh, I'm Kat. I'm your host. This is the Lady Isla Rose channel, and today we're going to be playing some more Nox Archaeist. Uh, first of all, sorry about Wednesday. I just ran out of spoons, and self care is important. I will always preach the importance of self-care. So I had to uh, practice what I preach, and I took my I took the night off. Um, so sorry, but so thanks everybody for understanding about that. But we're back. We're here. We're ready to go. Um, so that was that was a thing. Uh, second, did I? Uh, da, 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 da. You may have noticed um, something I missed, forgot to do. Uh, you may have noticed no pre-roll music this week. And funny story, I uploaded all of the past episodes. I finally got around to doing that. And I got a copyright claim. Howdy, uh, CT6502. How are you? So amusingly... Uh, or maybe not amusingly, it spooked me a little bit, I guess. Uh, all of the uh, episodes where I used the Knox soundtrack, the iTunes version, as a pre-roll, uh, it's the benign one. It's the claim. It's not a strike. So it's not like I'm in like a lot of trouble, but it kind of spooked me a little bit. So I, like, I, I kind of didn't do that this week until I figure out what's going on. But apparently, yeah, I know. It's I'm not, I did, I'd let... Uh, the appropriate parties know, and I'm waiting to see what's going on with that. So, um, uh, on the on the uh, so that was a thing. I woke up, I set them all to upload. I woke up this morning and I saw that, and I was like, "Oh, interesting." I mean, it's the benign one. It's not like I got a strike or anything on the channel, but it's you know, it spooks you a little bit. Uh, I don't think it's a problem, and I think I can get back to it. And the other thing that I didn't want to do... No, it was a claim. I, uh, 6502, I sent you a message. Uh, I sent you and Electric Moo a message on the Knox Discord. Or, well, through Discord, as anyway. Uh, it's uh, something about CD Baby on behalf of Electric Moo. So I'm not sure what that means, but I just wanted to let y'all know. Uh, third, I did. I can even send you a screenshot if you want uh, after I get done. After I go offline, I'll take a screenshot and then send it to you. Um, whoa. And third, uh, this week I got a new toy. Uh, some of you may have seen me uh, futzing around with this on Facebook. I have a Mega Audio. The good news, I have a Mega Audio. It's in. Uh, bad news. Apparently, the Mega Audio has a conflict that Plumman and I are working on this. Uh, it has a conflict with the vidHD. Uh, the vidHD in my computer, TLDR, <laughs> the vidHD, since I have a ROM 1, needs to be in slot 3. The Mega Audio does not like having at least the vidHD, possibly anything in slot 3, for to, to save its settings. And I also found out the hard way that my motherboard battery was dead because it's not saving. Like when I tell it to, when I change the volume on the GS or I tell it, you know, your card in slot four, it doesn't remember after I turn the computer off. So I have a battery on order. It's coming in on Tuesday because half AA. Yeah, uh, hardware is here. So um, that, and uh, Plowman and I have already been, Plowman wants to figure this out as bad as I do. He knows that there is a conflict with the VHD because the VHD wasn't out uh, when he built the Mega Audio, and that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to try and figure it out this week. I've got it mostly working today, but it takes like some, some hoop jumping to get it through. And I'm really looking for a solution where I turn the GS on and it works. I'm one of those people where I just want to turn it on and it works. So that's, so that's what's up. Um, it's been a, it's been a week and I'm going to pop off the screen for just a moment because I need to untangle the headset cord because I, since I moved everything around, some of these cords got a little shifted and, and the headset cord is a little on the short side right now. So give me one second.
That's better. Um, <laughs> now I'm not going to pull the, self the headset off of my head trying to do this. And now we'll adjust the camera because I have the camera all... I had like this, uh, this whole, the whole bench was a mess the last couple of yesterday. Uh, I picked the thing up on, um, I picked it up on Saturday morning from the post office. So the, the whole, the whole stream desk is like all kinds of goofy right now, but it's a good, Hey, you know what? If it, if it works, it works. If not, uh, is that my contractually obligated Twitch hoodie? No, but it's my super warm Twitch hoodie. <laughs> Uh, all my other hoodies I washed yesterday, so they're all still a little bit damp. But oh yeah, when I start when I made affiliate, I bought the hoodie uh, because uh, I, I am proud of my 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 work here. And I mean, if anybody, I still haven't seen the interview because I still don't have my copy of Juice GS yet. <laughs> I should be. <laughs> Aw, uh, thank you. But uh, I kind of read part of it because Jason Scott tweeted a picture of that page. So I was kind of like this with my laptop trying to like read it. Uh, and it, I, 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 yeah, I got, I hope it gets here. I'm thinking it'll get here in the next couple of days. Uh, yeah. So I like, I've seen it in the, in so much as I watched, like I tried to read it on a photograph on Twitter. <laughs> so that was fun. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. I too would really, really like to have the post office back 4 a.m. I, I miss the post office working efficiently. Yes, that is something I do miss. But uh, yeah, when I made affiliate and like the Twitch hoodie is super, super thick and warm and comfy. And that's why you see me wearing it a lot on stream. Not mostly, not because just because I'm a Twitch streamer, but because it is super thick and comfy warm. Uh, and also, I really don't have... A thematically approach. Like if I'm streaming magic, I would pl I would have my magic hoodie on. I don't really have necessarily a thematically appropriate hoodie. I should make one. Ah, cool. Back at cover advertisement for Knox. Yeah, I figure it's got to be this week. I'll get it. Um, I just we have a very small post office. I need more tar. Yeah, I mean I, I try to wear Kansas Fest t-shirts, but it just again <laughs> that depends on laundry. And I'm really good about doing the laundry, she says, in almost with a straight face. So, uh, one more thing before we get started, we have a uh, uh, we have a whole bunch of new friends uh, to welcome. I uh, got a, we got a whole bunch of follows when I was uh, hiding in uh, in my flannel bed cave from the world. Uh, so, welcome to the new followers about this computer: Cameron Tally, Lendritz, Spooky Pixel, One Mean Tween. Brian Noller, Glowbush, Ra uh, Roushy M MSX, Tufacker, Tim Coolish. Uh, I think that's as far back because then, then then that's the, la the next thing is a raid. So thanks everybody, welcome new people, uh, welcome new new friends. Uh, this it's growing, it's it's growing like crazy, and sometimes I have to pinch I, I pinch myself. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Which pinching yourself through a thick, warm hoodie doesn't really actually hurt. But, uh, all right, let's get into this. Uh, okay. I have a fabulous glare on my, uh, on my screen, so give me a, give me a sec. So, obviously, um, I, so right now, to get the sound card working, I have to jump through hoops and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So I this is where I parked it after I made sure that it was working two hours ago and I did not turn the GS off. So hopefully this works. And I hope I tried to balance the sound as best I could with recordings. But if it's too loud or too soft or I'm getting weird interference, uh, please let me know. Um, this is going to be kind of a little bit of a tech demo for the Mega as well. Uh, Mega Audio, it's a great card. I love it. It does a great job. Um, I'm just going to, the uh, one, it's got the hardware conflict, and two, the control panel for it. Like for the VidHD, you hit control six, and for the CFFA, you hit, you know, it's, well, it doesn't do it anymore because I've got a, a smart port loaded, but you can hit. Uh, you, it, you know, it puts itself in the Apple 2GS menu. Uh, this, the Mega Audio control panel has to be accessed through the uh, monitor. 
I actually have a, a post-it note with the commands <laughs> written on it. So it's really, it's not like I can go in and fix it on the fly. So I did my very, very best with recordings, but if it, I'm blowing your ears out and if it gets too bad, I'll just um, mute everything and take and put the, put it back in the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, headphone jack. So apologies in advance for that. All right. Continue slot one. And let's. I feel like that might have been loud because it was loud for me. Uh, it also seems to occasionally change its mind. I really just need a soundboard. Because now, like, if I do this, it's really quiet again. So the mega, that's better. Yeah, I know there's something with the mega audio and how it's uh, processing the audio itself as well. I think I honestly, like I'm gonna see if, Yeah, like I said, uh, so the problem is if I turn it up too much more, I feel like you're getting some sort of interference from the card because I see the green lines bouncing all over the place. So I'm trying to also protect, prevent that. Yeah, the music comes out really quiet. But we've got things to, we have got things to do and places to go. When last we left our intrepid party, we had just finally, finally, finally taken care of the orcs. Uh, I'm still OBSing on MacOS, yes. But this has nothing to do with um, I show for you or anything like that because the Mac is the, the GS is pumping the sound into the line in port line in port on the back of the back. This is it's this has no, this is bypassing all of that. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's a plug in that could help me too. So seek Knox Bruce on his ocean island and take the test. We need to buy a better boat for that. Uh, we need to go up, I guess, and try and deal. I think we're gonna go up and try and talk to the guy in the dungeon if we can find him. Uh, we need special keys for the Dwarf Rev, Rat King for Matt Barton of Bayport, Haunted pa Air about Haunted Pass, find Harakvar's bow, find the bandits. Actually, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, let's see what we can do about those bandits. So, Nairwood is... This is... That's Haunted Pass. We, whoa, get you. <laughs> okay, this is not Nairwood. South of mountains, yeah. Yeah. There's some really cool music here. Yeah, it works. Like I said, it works after a fashion, but it has uh, volume issues and it has um, a lot of hardware. Uh, compl it, it's arguing with everything known to man. The music and definitely the music, the sound effects are a lot louder than the music. 
So it's a, it is definitely a work in progress. All right. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was more far. I thought that it was farther south. Hello, crab friend. Yeah, I love the music, though. It's super fun. I can't wait to... Um... I need to fire up Ultima. Yes, and even if you do quick combat... Yeah, there's some weird hardware issues happening with me. And that's, like, it is what it is. I mean, hey, what's this? And then that one's really loud. So yeah, it's there there are it is not yet perfect is not yet perfect system. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, I, it's so when it gets loud in my headphones, that's when you guys can barely hear it. So I'm not really sure what's going on with this. Oh. Like, I like it a lot. Alright, everything wants to fight me. So let's fight. Yeah, that's... I need a rack of studio compressors and a mixing deck. That is exactly what I need. Alright, we found this once by accident. Now we're not going to be able to find it when we want to find it, because that's how my life works. Can you get S-Video out of a 2GS? Uh, probably with the right adapters. It probably is uh, uh, something with the... I feel like to do this, the it is some very good chiptune, yes. I feel like to do this, the card really needs me to have some sort of like preamp. Like, I don't think the card... It, I'm so used to, like, st I don't think the card is its own preamp or something. And I think that if I actually ran it... I'm, I'm wondering if I ran it into a soundboard that could do some of the more heavy lifting that that would be a thing. Because it's some excellent, excellent chiptune. I'm super enjoying it. Yeah, uh, 4am, can you, like, DM that to me via Twitter? 
it's okay. I know I have a, a sound thingy. I have one actually picked out, but that's another one of those things that's kind of unobtainium right now. Uh, only because I'm not, if you put a link in Twitch chat, uh, I can't really click on it while I'm streaming, and it's a lot harder to go dig it back out of the logs. And if you just DM, if you ever have a link to give me, just DM. Uh, yo, cool, thanks. Uh, I There's like a $200 or $250 uh, four-channel box that I was looking at that would, uh, where I could mix the microphone. I could maybe just mix everything all at once into microphone, GS, sound card, and then just pump that all into the, uh, to the, to the Mac. And then, uh, I've got the Mac and I've got that Pinkintosh priced out. I just need to, uh, <laughs> wait till things come back in stock. Well, I would really, really like, I don't know if the wrench, if that does that. But my microphone, this is why I want like a real professional soundboard, because my microphone has these. And I could go XLR with the microphone and free up a, well, would free up a couple of USB, free up a USB port on my computer. Or I guess it really wouldn't, but because the sound card would take it over. But I would really like to utilize the, uh, the XLR. All right. We are going to find where this... Because I didn't mark it on the map. Because I didn't... I mean, I guess I should have. Because I should have known it was going to become important at some point. But I didn't. All right. Map. Map. We have a map. All right. Running out of space, running out of slots, running out of space. You need to get program audio and mic audio and a different inputs on your stream machine so you can monitor program without having to also monitor your voice, which gets annoying. Ah! All the way around to the left and then down to the right. All right. Left is this way. Because that's Haunted Pass. That's a Swamp Dweller. Yeah, that's just really not pumping out the audio the way I want it to. The USB mouse you want to go for a multi-bus mixing board. That's actually what I think I'm looking at. I'll send you later on. After I get done here, I'll send you what, what I'm looking at. Okay, let's take care of the things close to us first, people. So, yeah. So, it's... I almost, almost, almost didn't... I almost bypassed the sound card just because it's not great. But I also figured that uh, maybe somebody... Okay. Then down... All right, fine. You really seem to want to... Because it's definitely in my headset, and I don't know if this is the true for you, but in my headset, the game sound effects are way, way louder than the music. And I don't know if that's by design, like if the game is supposed to do that. Yes? Okay. So, we've got stuff to work on. But that's the thing about this hobby, right? Uh, a lot of things don't work on the first try. Um, I don't know, maybe. Everything's... So, right now... It's a limitation in the medic... Right now... 
I have the GS internal speaker turned all the way down. The Apple II sounds are being routed through the Mega Audio, yes. So the Mega Audio is definitely handling the mocking board differently than it's handling the games, the audio, the native GS sounds. Hi, welcome to Tech Support with Cat. Yeah, so I have the, yeah, the GS is turned completely, um, the GS, because otherwise you'd be hearing it on this, because you'd be hearing it out of the native GS speaker, and you'd be getting double because the mic would be picking it up. Literally no one else in the world is crazy enough to try this. I am nuts, and it's awesome. Yeah, it's definitely with something with how the, mo the Mega is handling what I want it to do. And if it's super, like I said, if it's super annoying, I'll mute everything and I'll yank, I'll yank the thing and put it in the back in the headphone jack. Although I think I'd have to go into the control panel to do that. Also, I'd have to yank the um, the splitter out, and that could be a problem because, like so many things, when you stuff them through, so many modern things trying to be stuffed through the back of one of these, you had I had to kind of you know squish it, squish it in to get it in there. How close is our mage? I'm also going to need to hole up and camp here pretty soon. Come on, let's fight! Let's get in a fight! And then every now and then it'll pop out loud like this. So, yep. I didn't expect it. I'm so just like everything in this hobby. Uh, I didn't expect it to work first time. So like, part of me is like it's the uh, really really. You read the manual. I read the manual too, but I might it might be I think some of this is a little above my head. Three, four, five, six, seven. It emulates the A2 speaker inside the Mega Audio card, so its emulation isn't compensating for the ge Ah, okay. And sometimes it's it's ah, like okay, like that makes sense, but I'm not 100% sure what it means. Ooh, what's this? This is someplace I don't think we've been. I had naively assumed that you could run 2G's. No, you, it's, it's, uh, the Mega Audio is in fact essentially hijacking the uh, GS native sound. Because if I go in, like I said, if I go in to the uh, control panel and turn the GS back up, you'll hear it out of the GS speaker as well. What is this? This oh, were we here? No. Um. Nairwood is like here-ish. I think here-ish. 
write this in ink so I can read it. You might be better off not... Yeah, that's actually what I'm gonna have to do, I think, Forty. If, uh, assuming I can get this going where I can, it's one and done, and I don't have to fuss with every time I want to use it. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna have to do is to uh, is to run everything through a real uh, real mixer. All right. Okay, so Narrowood is an actual town. Okay, we did, we have been here. I remember being here. Narrowood is an actual town. Yes. Yay, beta hardware. I mean, it's not technically beta. I mean, I think that, like, I feel like it's not technically beta, but at the same time, a lot of the stuff that we have is like in some sort of perma beta state. Okay, where in the heck is that? Like I said, we found it once when we, we, we found it once when we weren't looking. But again, that that's the fun of that's the fun of all of this. All right, fine. You really want to pick a fight with me? Let's pick a fight. Let's well, let's get in a fight. Let's take care of a noxious elf. There we go. Uh, I'm looking for the keep. I found Nairwood. I'm looking for the keep. Which is good that we found Nairwood, because that wasn't on our map. All right, well then, Southwest. Yeah, as soon as I find it, I'll put it on the map. Like I said, it's we found the keep once completely by accident. Because that's how we find everything in this game is completely by accident. Excellent. Oh, sweet. Oh, hello. That's not who I thought was going to level. Okay. Um, book. Book, 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 book. I moved the book. Like I said, I had this desk torn apart trying to get this to work. All right, spells. So we are level three. All right, I would like to have an int of at least 38. So let's go uh, zero, two, 10. Nice. All right. So she would she I would like to her to be at least 26. So both of my mages leveled. That's excellent. Um Let's go 0 2 10. Right on. I, uh, 
Well, I I want them to have be able to wear slightly better armor. <laughs> I get mostly int. Okay, so that being said, oh, he has that on. Okay. What could he not? Was it the staff? Yes! Can she have a staff? Uh, no. What does she act? Okay. All right. Don't forget to level up their float as well, or the. Does Dex help with range, or does it help with other? I think Dex is mostly ranged weapons. I'm not, I don't get it. Uh, 48k, I don't, uh, so I'm not sure what the joke is there. Gosh. Ugh. Where in the heck am I? Uh, so, I don't, I, I don't, to me, float is a spell that I don't have yet, and I'm not sure what, uh, how float and math go together. I assume it's some sort of floating point integer joke. Oh, yeah. I don't know C. I have never had a chance to learn C. So that's why I, yeah, that, that's why I'm sitting here being completely obtuse is because uh, that, yeah. Definitely not going to get that one. Nobody really knows C. Like, what I know about C is that it is a programming language. That is literally my knowledge of C. Come on. Yeah, programming jokes are generally going to go a little over my head because I'm not a programmer and I never really was. Uh, find the bandit's hideout. It's in an ancient. It is in the rumor to be in the ruins of an ancient castle in the forest around Nairwood. So my next RPG will dance. Yeah, I mean, I, you know what? It would probably sell. Uh, not gonna lie, it would probably sell. Go south. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, so would I. I make a terrible game designer. I think I tried my hand a little bit at it when I was a kid. Oops. Um. Let 
moving very slowly so as not to walk into the river. Yeah, I feel like it's in this neighborhood somewhere. You look scary. Like, I know we got lost here, and f we got lost here one time, and we found it by accident. It's hard. Yeah, no, I, I give all props to people who do game design on the reg, because it's hard. Like, I know that designing lessons is hard. That was it? Oh, okay. I thought that was a person. Ah, there it is. Alright, um... Save it to slot two. Go left. Yeah. I mean, isn't go left always the answer? Um, okay. What is that? That's a bone pile. Okay. Unlocked door. All right. I see the bandits. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm going west. But there's only so much west I can go without a pickaxe. So apparently we have to go... Meow. Oh, interesting. Uh, no, let's not. Uh, cast. One. Fira, heal thyself. Oh, hello. Well, I guess the important thing to find out is if we can actually fight these dudes. We may not be ready for this. I... Okay, I can get past their, uh... Ooh, okay. Oh, that's- my job is- is essentially hurting cats, so... But yeah, like, lesson design I know is hard enough. Uh, this might not be where we want to be. We're going to give it a shot. These guys are a little bit tougher than I'd like. As I sit here and focus deeply. All right, um... What am I supposed to be doing here? Find the bandits hideout and defeat their leaders. It's rumors to be in the ruins of an ancient castle in the for Okay. First we're going to put this on the on the map.
Okay. I don't actually think we're quite... I'm quite comfortable... I want to have slightly better. I think... I can get and I think I want slightly better gear before we try for that. So I think we're going to go to North Held and try and advance the plot by talking to the pirate leader and learning about the cultists. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Run away. Oops. I think that that's going to be a better use of our, t of our time. Woo! Or we could buy a really good... Uh, oops. I'm gonna say I should be like destroying these things. Oh, right. <laughs> we may go do some shopping, is what we may do. He has a magic staff. He can attack. He doesn't have to use spells. That's a thing. I just, that is a thing that I just learned. That's. Um, okay. Let's actually go and do the little shop. I'm also super tempted to just uh, up and buy a caravel because I think we can afford it and I think that that's going to get us a little bit closer to where we want to be. Also, it's going to make us easier for us to uh, zip around and find stuff. Hello, my friend. What kind of spells do you have that I might like that I can cast now? All right. Fireball plus one. Summon lesser undead. Boulder smites. Boulder storm. Mage armor. Magic staff. Mage cloak plus three. Mage necklace plus three. Um... All right, what do we got going on here? He has a leather helm, mage cloak, plus three, leather boots, leather gloves, mage necklace, plus three. <laughs> she has cloth helm. She could use a mage cloak, I bet, and she could use a necklace. Because I also want her to be able to... Just one. Uh, what is the intelligence needed for a mage necklace or a mage cloak plus three? Armor, weapons. Uh, magic staff. Magic staff needs 15, so I think she can use that. Mage close plus 3 into 26. Yeah, she's okay. One of those. One of those. Trick out my other mage a little bit. Party management is a thing. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
She knew that's why I was worried about such things. She can have one of those. She can have one of those, but she can't have a magic staff. She needs a little bit more strength for that. Okay. Uh. Intelligence too low to wield. Really? Interesting. Magic staff. What's her intelligence? 30. Magic staff. Oh, she needs two more. Okay, she need I needed to put two more there. Okay. That's okay. That's all it's all good. It's all good. She's at least got a little bit more oomph behind her. And she's got a little bit more uh clout. Now she's got a mage cloak and a mage necklace. She should probably have leather stuff, too, if she can. All right. Leather helm, leather... All right. That, I feel like, should help a little bit. Ah, the guy I want to talk to is going on his lunch break. Alright, let's see how much a really big boat is. Oh yeah, let's get a frigate. Pick up your purchase in the harbor west of my shop. Excellent! I this, I assume, is a frigate? <laughs> yes! Board the... Uh, so getting the frigate out of town is going to be a problem. I, I think so. Get out of my way, small boats. Of, small boats of no consequence. Please get out of my way. Oh yeah, this is a thing. So I assume I get to keep both of my boats. Where am I? I exited. Ah! Nox Arceus. Well, at least now we can hear the cool uh, opening music. Some re yeah, more of the really amazing chip tune that we've got going on. All right, where did we save? It's loud. Okay, we had. Uh, we would like a frigate, please. Thank you. We would like a ca frigate. Okay, please. Thanks. I want a really big ship. Board our really big ship. Okay, so I what I'm guessing here is the frigate can't go at all in shallow water. 
So the frigate has to stay in this uh, deep channel and wait for the smaller boats to get out of its way. To get it out of the harbor. Come on. Dude, I am so much bigger than you. Let me through. My dude. My boot, my dude in the tiny boat. In the deeps only. Yeah, I mean, that totally makes sense. It's a big boat and it needs a lot of, uh, it needs plenty of water. But wow, these little guys do not want to let me out. Do you mind? It's like, no, you can't. Like, I, I really don't want to start firing on you. But you're making it really difficult to not fire on you. Let me tell you. Oh! What just happened here? Um, apparently if I exit my... When you exit the big ship, you have a little boat. Yes! That is not something I expected. I expected to exit the ship. All right, we bought our frigate. Now we have to get our frigate back out. That was uh, interesting. For certain definitions of interesting. Hit X twice to really exit, okay. Yeah, I wanted to exit my boat onto the dock, is what I wanted to do. Get out of my way, thank you. Yeah, see that's what I was trying to do, was exit onto the dock. Marauder dead, Swamp Deller dead. All right. All right, that makes sense, sort of. I mean, it makes sense. Just see, this is what I was trying to do: is just get in a fight with it. I just wanted to fight it face to face because I know I can knock it. All right, sweet. All right, save the game. That is a lot of boat. All right, so. All right, that was cool. So what you're saying here, okay, so now I X and I take my little boat to shore. This is how this is supposed to work, correct? So it's just like the real thing. You can't, you know, a big boat, you can't always go into a little harbor. That's why they come to, you know, the big boats would dock out in the water and then you'd get in the long, put, you know, put them in the long boat. You know, let's all sing sea shanties now because uh, that's a thing. 
And that's how we do this. That's pretty cool. Yo ho, yo ho, let's go. Let's, yo ho, yo ho, let's go, let's go. Um, I can't sing for beans. And the only one I know has a ton of, is, is the only one, sea shanty I really know is Barrett's Privateers. And I really do need to finish because I'm working on, um, doing a filk of, uh, it's, I mean, I will try, but I can't sing. Oh, the year was 1776. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. A letter of mark came from the king for the scummiest vessel I've ever seen. Bus, bus them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. Okay, so I'm super sorry I can't sing. But uh, someday I'm going to write a filk of that. And it's called, I've already got like pieces of it knocking around in my head. It's called Jobs' Privateers. And it's going to be about the Macintosh. Aw, thanks CT64. <laughs> it's going to be 6502 with those 100 biddies for my terrible singing. I used to be able to sing. A long time ago when I was in high school, I actually could sing. I <laughs> If that leads to a DMCA takedown, I will laugh. I will too. At that point, that's just like, uh, that's just absurdism. Oh, knock sticks with 100 bits. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, if I ever finish Jobs as Privateers, I will. Um, I do know it's, it's, oh, the year, oh, the year was 1984. How I wish I was at Bandley now. A memo from Steve came across my desk asking for help with his life's quest. Death chime them all. I was told we, I, how did, I don't, I need it in front of me. I think it's, I was told we'd uh, something, something, innovate, we'd shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man. Now I'm a broken man in a cubicle here. The last of jobs is privateers. I'm still working on the filk, but it's, I, I've got, like I said, I've got pieces of it. Like at the end, it's, because there's obviously, there's more, um, it's so the original song is Barrett's Privateers by Stan Rogers. I highly recommend you go out and find it on YouTube. Stan Rogers is a Canadian national treasure. And I know I'm not a Canadian, but I can say that because he is. Uh, he died entirely too soon. Saving other people from a plane crash that he had already survived. So he was also too good for this world. And his son, who sings some of his songs, uh, sounds just like him, like, freakishly so and um oops um so it, so obviously the song goes on it is it has been described as the worst privateering trip on the planet uh basically uh they go they in this leaky the in this leaky boat and they have to bail all the way to the Caribbean and they get there and they get blown out of the water. It is the worst privateering trip in the history of privateering trips. And the last line is, you know, it, you know, so at least one of the line, and we just acquired next and Steve's coming back, death chime them all. <laughs> so, yeah, that's somewhere in this mess. I have like the lyrics printed out and I've got the stuff that I've done. Oh, I think it was, I was told we'd change the world this way. We'd innovate, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man in a cubicle here. The last of jobs is privateers. Okay, we need to sleep. We need to heal before we do anything. 
going. We, we, we are not going down the basement until we heal. But yeah, if you uh, if you like kind of folk music, Stan Rogers, I, I highly, highly recommend you go some Stan Rogers. And then you can go find the Desert Bus uh, uh, clips of them singing. There's actually some, they do, uh, one of the guys on Loading Ready Run, can he does a great job with sea shanties. And he, like every year, they always sing Barrett's Privateers. And it's, it is a thing. <laughs> Because some of these guys are, perf are professional performers and professional actors and can actually like really sing with accents and everything. And it's very cool. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. But thank you. I think we decided that we can't use any of this stuff yet. I think we decided that, um, crossbow requires a, Ugh. crossbow requires a strength, a strength of 32. Hello, welcome. Uh, and I don't think anybody has a dex of 32 yet. So I think we just I think we had determined that most of this stuff has to wait. Um, I can't remember. Hello, how are you? Heart cola. <laughs> Uh, I have, I hate, so I really, I have uh, dark mode turned on f like I usually do for, um, for the computer. Uh, <laughs> it works fine when it's dark in here. It doesn't work as good when it's light in here. So I, sometimes I have to kind of lean forward and, and see what's going on up there. It's a cow! It's a cow! It's a cow! Moo cow! It's, <laughs> it's flies. The flies don't want to talk to me. But they are flies. There are flies. CT6502 with that uh, shiny new badge. Uh, so, um, probably for cheering. I think that's a, I think that's a bit badge. Don't know why I don't have that turned on up here. Every day, ever forward, sometimes learning. Sometimes learning. Not always, but sometimes. Okay, if I remember correctly, the magic shop here. Maybe not. I'm thinking I think I might be thinking of a different castle. Your princess is in another castle. Yeah, I'm thinking of a different castle. Or I have to go downstairs instead of upstairs. Which I don't really want to go downstairs yet. Um. Oops. Oh, that's an actual wall. <laughs> that's a wall. That's down. That's down. Oh, this might be what I was thinking of. Well, that'll work. Yeah. 
That will work. We'll take that. All right. That's not necessarily what I was looking for, but that will help. All right, so I need to get down. Because there's a guy in the dungeon of Northheld Castle that I need to talk to. I don't know if we're far enough down yet. We're not going to pick a lock. Uh, this is probably not where I want to be. This is new, different, and interesting. Um. Because I thought... Where's my notes? I didn't turn notes cam on. I barely had... I, bar I barely got going online getting all this put together. Um... Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a different entrance to the dungeon. Um. I really need to do something with these notes. Like, makes them make, I need to make them make sense. Because I think there is a guy that we're supposed to talk to. Where's a pirate that they're holding in the castle? Because I remember the castle dungeon was kicking our butt. I think that was Northheld Castle. Yes, yes, yes. This is the spillway, I think. I think this is the spillway that leads to the dungeon. Yeah, I all right. Oh, neat. I found my way outside. Floating down the river. Or something. Something, something. Floating down the river. Something, something. Are there steps there? Are there steps there or am I falling through a hole? I think I'm falling through a hole. No, let's not and say we did. It's like a huge frogger. It's like a huge frogger maze. We found an enormous frogger maze in the bottom of the castle. Swimming through. All right. Um. Let's try this again with with less uh, me being an idiot. Nox Arceus. With less me being stupid, let's try this again. Yes, 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 yes. Up, up, up. I do like that it has a, uh, a I, I like the fade, like it, it tries to fade. I don't know if it's. What in the heck am I falling through? Am I falling down the well? I think I'm falling down the well. This is actually really funny. All right. Well, we'll be heal. We'll go heal it. We'll be talking to the healer again. I see.
If I can remember where the healer is... I think the healer is this way. No. Oh, I think. The, uh, I do not have the designated lockpick person. I probably should. I probably also need more lockpicks, to be perfectly honest. Flies won't let me go. Uh, was it this way? Yeah. Hi. Let's do that again. <laughs> you should and you could train them exclusively and buy like a hundred lock picks. You'll need them for okay. How do I, and I, cause I read the, oh, where's, I, so. How do you increase somebody's lock picking skill? I assume it has, it's a function. So obviously it should be. Cause obviously cutter is who I need to be having do that. I can remember reading skills, skills, adventuring, user interface, game settings, the world, sailing and swimming. Stats, you can find your stats. Skills increase by doing... Ah! Okay, right, right. So the more locks I pick, the better off it gets. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, I gotcha. All right. Vacus is a lock pick eater. Okay. Good to know. All right. Oh yeah, this guy, it sounds like there's this guy who has a Roman bath hanging out in his throne room. He's probably gone. So we'll pop out and camp, I guess, since I'm not super worried about healing. Let's not fall in the well like we've been doing because we're so talented. Yes. Hole up in camp. I like the the insinuation here that the one the second guy from the left is roasting something on his sword cuz it sure looks like he's roasting marshmallows on his sword. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Again, this is why I don't like to take breaks, because I lose my... I, I forget what I'm doing and, and how I'm doing it. Dude has a Roman bath in his... In his throne room. Tall and stately, Lord. Marshmallows or maybe a hunk of mutton. Yeah, he's doing something. Uh, Lord Estenar... Cult, Storm's Rage, Travel is Dangerous, Cult, put the common start around the same time as Cult's for. I'm trying to pick the plot back up. 
Yeah, I did that. Exactly. Exactly, speed D408. That is an excellent way to ruin your sword. Travel. Dragons. Yeah, I, I would really like to be blessed with the wisdom of the dragons at this point. Uh... Nox, uh, job. The order, yes, yes, yes. Crystals, magic towers, magic users, cast with care, yes. Um. Because I have totally lost the plot. There's a jester. But I feel like we had, there was a, a maybe, was it in this dungeon or was it in the south dungeon? Ugh. Because I know that. Noxia Vier of Sutherland Castle wants you to seek out one of the cult's hidden temples. We asked in Maldak around the cult, and they said that the guy up here had a guy and had the leader of the pirates in his dungeon, and we should probably go question him uh, in the in the dungeon, which I remember trying to do and getting our butt kicked. But then we, now that we've leveled, I feel like we should be able to. To do so, I now I just can't remember how to get where we were. Because that's how this game works. And it is glorious. And that is not a complaint, by the way. That is just... That is me stating the obvious that that's how this game works. Okay. Go Cutter. So Cutter is going to be my designated lockpick person, I guess. What the heck? Okay, broken barrels. All right. So I assume if I go down to Cutter and look, now that we've done that twice. Okay, his skill's gone up a little bit. Excellent. Anything in them I should look. Nope. How many lockpicks do I have, anyway? Okay, I should pick some up at some point. Oh yeah, no, you're right, we gotta search every corner. That was a good reminder to search every corner. Like you do. Puzzle, 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 puzzle. But this game is excellent at giving us puzzles. The game, I love, like, the puzzles in this game are really well done. In that they really, you really have to pay attention and know what you're doing. 
And I like that. I assume... I'm guessing I'm probably not supposed to be here yet. Let's get in trouble! It's something we're very, very good at. Let's... Maybe. Uh... Okay, orcs we can handle. Orcs we can handle, maybe. Maybe we won't get our butts kicked. Famous last words. So somebody... <laughs> maybe we won't get our butts kicked. Famous last words, right? It's a ladder. Level three. Uh. All right. Uh, we should be able to. Okay. All right. I have to remember that Knox. Atros does have a uh, attack. All right, all right. Okay. Uh, I probably should start drawing a map at some point, because I actually thought that this dungeon was going to kick our butt. But it appears we're supposed to be here, so... Um, stuff? Things and stuff? Or I'm just gonna, like, bumble around super lost! Okay, let's actually, you know, work on... Okay, the problem is you actually need to hit things to be better at hitting things. Hey! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. far down yet yeah, nope 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 also nope also nope but we're gonna be stupid let's be stupid ah uh... <laughs> let's
Let's be stupid. <laughs> I'm good at being stupid. Yay. Look at me be stupid. Um, yeah, no, there was no way I was going to win that fight. Because when you hit for no damage, that means you're not getting past its armor class. And I've played enough D and D in my life to know that if you're not if you're not getting past the armor class, you're going nowhere really, really, really fast. It's a sh yeah, it's a chipper shredder. Uh, what's it look like inside? I don't know because we didn't go inside. Uh, I need to figure this out. In the meantime. We're going to take our new... I think we're going to spend some time. I want to go sailing. I want to take our new giant ship of doom. Because that's its name. The giant ship of doom. And I want to take it for... I want to take it for a spin. Like a real spin. Not just across to the new island spin. Like a real actual spin. Hi, what are you? Uh, what was that we just said about a tripper shredder? <laughs> All right. Um, what spell do we want to cast? What do we have mapped to what? Uh, fireball, fire arrow, five. Nice. All right, she can cast fireball here. And that should give me Alright. Let's hit him, because then we can get Yes. I literally did not think we were... <laughs> Speaking of the chipper shredder, I thought that's what we were in. I'm doing great. Uh, yay! I cannot believe that we survived that. Holy moly. I feel like we... Hi. Hopefully we can do that. Look, we get to do it again. Why? Is it nighttime? Did I miss nighttime? I didn't think it was nighttime. Uh, let's take care of the mages as much as we can. It is night. Oh, okay. I am an idiot who is super not paying attention, and that is why... We are getting into the trouble that we're getting into. But, hopefully... I really want... So, important safety tip for adventuring, pay attention to what time of day it is. Don't go, don't go off half-cocked in the middle of the night.
because that's that never ends well for anyone. See if I can't. Four, five, six. Alright! Hey, hey! I am not 100% sure how we survived that, y'all, but we survived that, y'all. That was, um... That was some quick thinking on our part. We are... Not in the bestest of shapes. But we are in shape. Uh, some of us are going to level again. Okay, one of us is going to level again. She would. I would love for her to level again. Fear is going to level again. Fear is a tank. I did. I totally saved already. And see. Oh yeah. No, we safety saved so hard as soon as we got done sleeping. That was. Uh, that was, uh, nothing but inspired gameplay. And now we go! Sailing! Alright, we have kind of sort of a map. I'm looking at the map. The map, the map, the mappity map. Mappity map. Um. Um. I kind of want to. I kind of want to see what kind of trouble we can get in with our frigate. That is the north area. At this point, I'm just kind of trying to get an idea of the lay of the land. I wish we could trek our caravel along with us. That would be actually the best. All right, uh... Oh, squids! Uh, interesting! Every time I see water in this game, it flashbacks all the three where you can't move to the... Oh, you should... Uh, Miak, we hit that Ultima 4 is the same way. We are not supposed to be there, by the way. That is the game Nox giving me a kids. clear... When, when, when something one-shots you that hard, uh, that is a clear indication by this game that that is not where you're supposed to be. Um, in Ultima 4, I have that problem also. The... With... Um, I did try to fire the cannons, and I couldn't fire them fast enough. I have not tried the flea beta. I have not had a chance to mess with um, getting the save file moved. Uh, like I said, I picked up the mega audio and spent most of yesterday getting that up and running. So that is definitely... I have, I have the flea beta downloaded. I just need to sit down and do the whole... Uh, move the save files around. Shuffle. Because that is quite a shuffle. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, Miak, uh, Ultima 4 has the same mechanic where you have to, where you can't, whoops, where you have to, um, you can't move, you can, where you can't really move very well if the wind is not, if the wind is blowing in your face. We spent a lot, a lot of time in U4 trying to move against the wind. So yeah, uh, you can look forward to that in U4. I really need to go back and finish once. When I get the audio up and running for reels, for permanents, for actuals, then I will... Um, Then I will go, because now that I've got this and I know that um, the wind interference wasn't fun, save the memory and use it for, I agree. The wind interference was a pain. Uh, but I know, because I know Ultima 4 is a mockingboard game. And as soon as I get everything up and running correctly, um, I am definitely going to do, we're going to do the Stygian Abyss, but we're going to do it with the mockingboard enabled because I really want to do at least one Ultima 4 stream with like full bore with the music and everything. So when I decided to go this route, I, that's I kind of put, I, I kind of punted on the Stygian Abyss, but it's mostly because uh, I want to do it with the I want to do it with the sound card at this point. Because we've gotten this far, we might as well. All right. We need, yeah, but the wind interference, like it was a, it was a cool idea for a mechanic. But it is occasionally, and so, and I guess I'm a little annoyed just because uh, my big thing with the wind mechanic was I like, so uh, Lord British put a wind spell in the game to try and, you know, make it so you had some control over that. But then I'm not sure if it was a bug in my game or I broke something. But uh, wind spells just stopped working for me. And I don't think we ever quite figured out why wind spells just completely stopped working. So I broke something in Ultima 4. I mean, I broke a lot of things. I break a lot of things. Speaking of broken Ultimas, and I should, I might, I will probably uh, tweet the link to this. Uh, at Games Done Quick this past week, somebody did a speedrun of Ultima 6. And they beat Ultima 6 in something ridiculous like 20 minutes. And I haven't oops, I haven't watched it yet. But I really that's one of those things I need to sit down and do. Probably later. That's probably like late. That's probably a later today problem. All right, where is I know who I want to talk to. I think But yeah, like, I get it. It's a cool idea. It's very realistic, which is, I think, what Lord British was going for. He was going for a great deal of realism. But at some point, it just gets really annoying. Okay. Okay. Don't fall into the swamp. Name, job, captain of the guard. Don't know anything about that. All right. Somebody in Maldak had our, our, our clue. Oh, 
All right, not you. I think it was the, the I think I know who it was. I love that you can move around in shallow water too. Do you mind? Um, because I feel like there was a... Someone you could talk to. Old woman doing household chores. I conducted research, but I'm retired. I like you three issues where my mom spawned on grass and if they left chests behind so after beating it. Nice. My research was focused eyeing on knowledge. Northheld Castle was destroyed and later rebuilt. Don't know anything about that. Don't fall. I like that everyone here tells you don't fall into the swamp. remember talking to you the last time I was here. Well, at least we all only lost one, <laughs> a little bit of hit points. super not paying. I am like super not paying attention. Because I'm uh, but <laughs> I mean U4 does that too. U4 leaves, you can leave chests all over the map. Because I definitely have left chests all over the map. That is definitely, definitely a thing I have done. All right. Been there, done that. Yes, it does. Yeah. U4 is a lot of fun. I, like I said, I want to finish it. That is definitely on my like list of things that needs to happen is finishing Ultima 4. That is definitely on the list of things in the new year that is going to have to happen. Uh, sh Asking around in Moldak about the cult. And we're in Moldak, I think. Yes? Yes, we are. Like I said, trying to pick the plot back up after taking however long off of the game. There was this, there was a woman in a, like a I don't remember how to get there. She was near the outskirts of town. Her! Found it! Yes, you! Those, uh... The cult doesn't notice. I've seen those hooded serpents come with pirates. Ranting about an ancient temple. Leader. Captain Rake. She's cunning and deadly. The guard captain at Northheld Castle. Okay. To the north across the Sidereian Sea. Okay. So I need to find the guard captain at Northheld Castle. Captain Northheld. Ah, 
it's so frustrating. I feel like this is part of the journey, though. You would write something down and, and lose it in your notes, or you would write something down and not be able to read it, and then have to go back around and figure out your life again. I feel like this is all part of, of playing these types of games. I hope it's all part of playing these types of games, and I'm not just some sort of, like, ditz who can't keep track of her own life. I mean, I am, I, I am, I do have a hard time keeping track of my own life, but, you know, not in-game. Alright, we are not doing so hot. Luckily, these guys are pretty easy. Wow, that Swamp Dweller is tough! Alright. We go into town, we go out of the town, we make the dude go away, and now we have to... How did you not go away? You were not far, you're not close enough. Alright. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Go to... Bayport and get our, our healing on. I think this is where we go to get our healer. I think this is where the healer is. Yes, this is where the healer is. Please, with the heal. Yes, please, with the healing and the healing and the healing. All right, let's um hole up in camp. Outside, because it's about that time, and I definitely don't want to cross. Oh, wow. Uh... Oh. That's better. Wee. I like the, the see like this is a good like this you know this is how you know this is good game design in that you might actually want it was it could have been it would have been real easy to make it so you your uh, frigate wouldn't fit through here and you had to take the little boat. But uh, they made, they made, you made it actually fit, and that's super, like, like some designers would have done that just to be like, ha ha ha, neener neener, you make your, we're going to make your life a pain in the butt. But y'all didn't do that, and that, that, that's much appreciated. All right, fine. I mean, if you really want to uh, get in a fight, we'll get in a fight. I probably should be making my guys... I should go... I should probably go do some melee training and some tactical training at this point also to get better. Okay, we're going to get to North Held Castle, and then I think, whoops, goodbye pirates, run away from the pirates, because I want to start working on this cult project, and figuring out where I need to go next. I would like to pick up the plot.
so we need to find the guard captain in the castle. I like that there's... I like the fog of war. That's always fun. All right, where's your boss? Where's your boss? I need to talk to your boss. So I need to remember where the captain of the guard is. And I know he's in a really, like, weird area. He's very much off the beaten path. I just don't remember where. I love this, though. I love the sense of height that you get with the different tiles. It's so good. It's just, it's so good. I think he's more inside. I feel like I need to go up into the keep a little bit more. That might be him, actually. Man in shining armor. Captain Ray. My life, Lady Bray, is the Lord of the is in the court of Lord Estenar. Um That lackey of Captain Rake? Yes. I've had contact, Captain Rake, with not directly. We've apprehended a pirate who surely knows where her hideout is, but he's not talking. He's in the North Held dungeon. You're welcome to see if you can persuade him to talk. Stay out of trouble. Uh, I can't. No promises. No promises. Okay, so we need to get to... Alright, trying to remember... I found the dungeon once. Again, completely by accident, and we totally got our butts kicked. It was kind of ugly. Oh, those Oh, those are statues, that's why. Why can't I talk to them because they're not alive? Ya goober. Oh, this is the ranger. All right. So, Archer at North Hell. If we need him. I feel like we came up here, we bopped around, but we really didn't work too hard at figuring anything out. And now we need to actually focus on the castle and working some stuff out. Oh, this is neat. Nor did we really map or keep track of what's going on in this area. Alright, that takes us back down here. 
I love that the dude has a Roman bath, just like a jacuzzi just hanging out in his throne room. Like shameless hedonism. Like so anti Avatar. Alright. How do we get downstairs? That might be where we pick up tomorrow. I think maybe tomorrow I think is gonna be a good time to answer the question. How do we get downstairs? Because obviously the dungeon is not, well, the dungeon. Is that the same guy? Yes. But I don't know how to get where he wants me to go. Like, I feel like it's down here somewhere, but definitely not there. That's the healer. We've been here. There was another way down. Because there, I mean, well, there has to be, because I need to get to the North Held dungeon, which I feel like is in the castle. But maybe it's not in the castle. Maybe a North Held dungeon is in a, is a different area, and we need to do a little bit more exploring on the world map. That could also be a thing. Oh, crab friend. Hello, crab friend. We will... I'm very good at typing faster than the GS can handle. I also love, love, love that... Oh. My mage can, like, fling magic without... My, with the staff, that makes me super happy. Alright, we're gonna park it right here outside of Northheld Castle, and I think that's gonna be a good stopping point for us. Alright. Display port. Change the input so I can look at stuff dead on instead of having to look up all the time. So uh, that was actually, that was super fun. Uh, plus or minus some of the sound issues, which I am uh, actively working on. But uh, I think that's, like we said at the top of the stream, part and parcel with um, doing retro stuff. Oh, I forgot to put, put it on the booth so y'all can see better. I love the singing more songs next time. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I mean, I, I don't want to break anybody's headsets. Either. I don't want to break anybody's speakers either. Uh, but thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Uh, this was fun. Um, tomorrow, we'll be, uh, tomorrow we will go back. We're gonna, tomorrow we're going to try to find the pirate captain. That is our, our thing. We are going to, we we're done doing side quests. We're going to try and pick up the plot. And see what we can do about uh, taking care of this cult. Because that is what the queen really, really wants us to do is to um, take care of this cult of personality that she's got knocking around her her world. And that's not a good thing. So, just click, 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 click. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, so we'll see you all tomorrow. 
Uh, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I enjoy it. This is, this is super fun. I look forward to these all week. Like I said, that's like, I really, really wanted to sc- stream. Oh, hi, Herb. I really, really wanted to stream on Wednesday, but I was just like, I got home and I just flopped over on the sofa and did not want to move. Um, I, you know, it, uh, aside from what happened on Wednesday, um, I had a very emotional uh, work day on Wednesday. Good emotion. And if anybody, I'm not going to talk about it here, but if anybody's really, really interested, DM me and I'm happy. I'll, I'll be happy to tell you. I just don't want to put it on the internet for, ev- I don't want to put it on stream for everybody to hear, but um, some good things are hopefully headed my way. So that's, that was, but so, you know, you had, you have it, you have a rough, you have a, an emotional day at work and then you come home and something, you know, the world is falling apart and you just sometimes want to curl up in your bed and not come back out. And that was kind of how I felt. Hello. Hello. I need to get a cow cat cam one of these days too. He's begging. It's an hour before it's an hour and a half until dinner and he's already begging. Silly cat. But thanks everybody for stopping by for watching. Oh, you're welcome uh, for watching and chatting and lurking and cheering and subscribing and following and doing all the things that you do to make this stream amazing. Uh, did I spell that right? I did not spell that right. So, uh, I will see you all tomorrow and we're going to send the love like we, like we usually do here. Solder some connections for the conversion kit. Yes. Solder all the things. Uh, we're going to send the love over to Amiga Bill. So go over, you know, re- you know, go tell the, go show the Amiga people what the Apple people can do. Uh, be nice. It's these. Uh, it's positivity. And as always, thanks for watching.